So here we have uh, some of the husk that was rescued from yesterday's operation. This is the stuff, for those of you who didn't watch the video yesterday, which has a, no name yet, so we have to name it before I can tell you what video to go to to watch it, but it, uh, it's going to involve something about coconuts. It's going to be around the 30th of December, so if you want to find it, that's where to find it. Anyway, this is the, the husk that sits around the coconut itself that separates the thick brown shell from the actual coconut. Um, and it's quite useful for bedding. If you are ever in that position, you can also use it to uh, clean your armpits and other places. You can also use it to scrub the floor, if that's what you want. You can uh, make rope out of it. And this is the rope that was used for the canoes actually came. Some of it from coconut rope. You can make rope good enough to hold thatch together on the roof. And the intention is also that you can squeeze coconut with it to try to extract what we're looking for. And I keep putting hair in here because I keep talking, but uh, let's give it a shot here and see what we can come up with. So it looks like we're getting somewhere. Squeezing the heck out of this stuff. Exercise and it's looking pretty good. For those, yeah. Exercise for those muscles. Yeah, look those at amazing. Those, those big muscles from amazing, amazing, amazing girl. girl. Amazing girl. Big bulk. From her so horse riding days in her days of horse riding carrying hay bales around the little peninsula of Jutland, back in the old country, where we didn't even know about coconuts. See what we missed out on? This nice white hairy mess for you. <laughs> All right, there we go. And of course, I do apologize to uh, all the genuine Maori, Maoli, Polynesians that have done this for centuries and decades and generations, because I am very well aware that I'm making a hor horrendous mess out of this right now, and that this should look pretty and white, and I should be completely you know, clean and pristine about this, but um, we, we we call this a combination of beginner's luck and uh, and uh, practice makes perfect. And uh, in a few months you'll see me do this completely like a good old, you know, Southeast Polynesian without making any mess. And I know Patrick, you'll understand. Well.